When you open Affinity Designer, go to File, New, and choose your page size. I'm going to choose my presets and make a square canvas of 1280 by 1280 pixels. Click Create when you have set your canvas. You might notice your layout looks a bit different to mine, but don't worry, that's just because I moved some things around. For the character's head, I'm going to use the ellipse tool. The shortcut is M key. Hold, shift, whilst dragging to make a perfect circle. For the body, I'll make a slightly smaller circle just below. Use the move tool, shortcut, V, to adjust. Drag to select both shapes. Use the color wheel to adjust the main body color. Hold the scroll bar down and scroll to zoom in and out. If you select the circle and click, convert to curves, you can now use the node tool to adjust the handles. Hold shift to keep the handle straight. Use the rectangle tool for the legs, and press Ctrl J to duplicate. Drag whilst holding Shift to constrain. Select the corner tool and drag to select the bottom nodes. Drag upwards and the rectangle corners will curve. Again, use the rectangle tool for the arm. Use the corner tool and drag to curve. Select the Move tool, rotate the arm and place it. Ctrl J to duplicate, and click, flip vertically. Now hold Shift and drag it over. Hold Shift to select both arms, then right click and group. Now click Center, so we can have them in the center of the page. If you select the head and body and click Center, they will center with each other. Group, then center, to center them on the page. Do the same with the arms and legs. Now everything is proportional. Drag to select all the shapes. Then right click, and ungroup all. Now you can, add, to make the body all one shape. Now, use the ellipse tool to make some fun eyes. Remember, hold shift to make a perfect circle. Select the eyes and give them an off-white color. Group and center them. For the mouth, use the pen tool. Click to add two points, but drag out the second point to make it curve. Use the node tool to adjust the shape. Go into the stroke panel and increase the width. You can also adjust it here. Click on the pressure bar, add a node in the middle by clicking, then drag down the end node. This makes a nice effect on the mouth. In the color panel, make sure the stroke is selected by clicking this ring. Then add color. I'm going to use a dark green. Add some fun shape fingers. Make sure to reset the pressure. Duplicate to make two more. Then use the color picker tool to make them the same color as the body. Adjust them until you are happy, but remember this is a fun character, so they don't have to be proportional. For the other hand, let's use triangles. Duplicate and rotate, then duplicate again.
If you want, you can also add some feet. Use the ellipse tool and make this simple shape. But, I prefer it without these feet. Select all the shapes, except the facial features. Deselect them by holding shift. Click, add, to make it all one shape, then Ctrl J to duplicate. Drag one body inside the other, not below, but slightly to the right like so. Click the arrow and make sure the inside shape is selected. Remove the fill with this circle, and add a dark green outline. Go into the stroke panel and increase the width. Now, go to effects and add a Gaussian blur. Drag this slider. You can see this makes a rounded effect. I want to make the color a little lighter. You can adjust the color, blur and width until you're happy. Use the pen tool to draw a simple arrow where you want the light source to come from. Now, take the inner shape and drag it over slightly, so that it looks like there is more shadow on one side, and less shadow towards the light source. Now, let's add some light. Duplicate the body shape, and drag it inside the main body. Delete the shadow of the inside shape. Remove the fill. We only want to keep the part closest to the light source, so use the node tool to delete all the other nodes. Select and press the delete key. Hold control and click to delete curves. Add a light green stroke. And increase the width. Add a Gaussian blur. Drag the end node outwards so it has a smoother end. Adjust the width and color. There would be less light in the corner of the neck so pull this node outwards. Use the pen tool to add a shine. Click to add two points and drag the second one out. Increase the stroke and add a Gaussian blur. Duplicate this and drag it to the hand. Make it smaller and adjust. You can adjust the other shines if you think they need to. Drag all the shines inside the body, and drag the body right to the back. We will use the same effect for the eyeballs. Duplicate it and drag inside the main eye. Remove the fill, and for the outline, add a grey slightly darker than the eyeball. Increase the width of the eyeball and add a Gaussian blur. Adjust color, width, and blur until you are happy.
add eye detail, use the ellipse tool. Remove the outline and give a dark grey fill. Use the fill tool and drag it over this shape to add a gradient. You can move the ends around. Move one end closer to the light source, and one towards the light. The further one should be darker, and the top one lighter. Drag the pupil inside the main eye shape layer. Now, let's add a shine to make our character look cute. Use the ellipse tool. Make a small circle here. Remove the outline. Select this small circle and the black circle, and click subtract. It has now been taken out. Make sure it's inside the eye layer. Select the eye, duplicate, and drag it over. Make it smaller, but don't hold shift this time, as it's a group. Move the pupils around. To add some texture, go into Pixel Persona. Make sure the body is selected. Select the Brush tool, go into Brushes, and in this drop-down, select Textures. You can test the textures and see which one you like for your character. You can just hover to Preview, or test it then undo. You can increase and decrease width of the brush with the square bracket keys. Select the layer, it will be named, Pixel, and lower the opacity to make the texture less harsh. If you want to add more detail, you can add some feet. Use the pen tool, add two nodes and drag the second one out. Decrease the width, and use the node tool to adjust. Make it a darker green, and add a Gaussian blur. Use the pen tool to make another curve just below. Make it a lighter green and add a Gaussian blur. Adjust till it looks good.
Control J to duplicate and hold Shift whilst dragging it over. Our cutie character is complete. I hope you have learned something from this video, please let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll be happy to help with any questions you may have. Also, let me know if there are any affinity tutorials you would like.